Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, I said I was going to go off and collect some spices. Some some spicy thingies so I can make some food so I can go through the wintry area, which is up over there. I decided to do a bit of exploring so I could get some, like, like my bearings, a bit more combat, like there's some fights down here and stuff. Made my way over here, stole an axe, and uh, there was a thing up there that was very shiny. Turned out to be one of those guys. Yes, very strange. The owls here sound very odd, by the way. It's like, you got a normal owl sound, and then there's like a... Uh -huh. It's very odd. But, I did notice this barrel. Because of a course. Barrel! But, it's very, very strange. Like, okay. I could just wander around as a giant barrel now. Alright then. So it's like... We'll throw that. Let's say... Uh -huh. Definitely heard a hoo hoo. What happened? Oh no! No, my barrel! No! Barrel, no! Oh, it's oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh dear, I was very worried about that. It was my barrel. My, my, my precious barrel. Fancy that. So, we meet again. What are you doing? For a day like this, I'm exhausted. I'm afraid I'll be needing my bed. You can use my bed if you ever need to rest for a bit. Well, assuming I'm not already in it, of course. Of course. Uh, let's see if we can steal this pot lid. Yeah. Do I have a shield equipped? I don't think I do, do I? So can I pick that one up now as like a backup? Like there, there, what was that? It was definitely a... Woo -hoo. Not sure if like that's a, a significant owl or something. It's just... <laughs> I keep hearing just a... Woo -hoo. I don't know. It's not just me, right? Like, you can hear it in the background. But anyway, anyway, I need to equip an axe because there was something else that happened. That I came running down here as well because it was sort of like, as part of the exploring, I was just like, well, what's, what's over here? What's over there? And then I noticed like, the, basically the shrine is up there. Like, you can see it on the map. It's You can see the edge of it there. It's like, you can see the, sh the shrine I want is right up there. So it's like, okay, so maybe I'm not going to go through the ice, but maybe I'm going to come this way because I can see... I don't think they're very, very obvious to notice in this time of day. There is sort of like places to sort of stop and rest on your way up if you're climbing. So then it was like, well, how do I get over there? Because there's clearly no bridge or anything like that. But then the old guy, he's not here anymore, he's gone bed, he, he did say, was actually chopping down this tree. As Nick basically explained to me, he's like, if you want to chop down the tree, you can. So I was like, okay, so can I chop down this tree and make a bridge? Because clearly I can get over there. So, let's, let's see about that is basically where we're at. I'm assuming we can. Okay, a single swing of this giant sturdy leaf can create a gust of wind strong enough to blow away light objects. These will sometimes fall off trees as they're chopped down. Well, I gathered that because that just happened. I can't carry it. Oh, we'll leave it. Okay, so I'm assuming I can... I keep getting the buttons confused with the jump, though. Alright, so, we've made it across, but... What's to explore is my question. Can I get one of these, um... Fireflies? I'd, I'd like to, like, grab them. I want to take out you guys. That's the wrong button completely. That's what I wanted. I'll avoid you... Oh, God! Guess we won't avoid you. Ow, you stick! You stop pointing me, you dick! Oh, you jumped right at the right time. There we go. Lovely. So we'll have that. Now, I have had some like comments telling me, like, like if I ever hear some piano music, run. Creepy piano music, I think it was described. Now that's clearly some bombs I'm meant to use there, aren't I? So let's change over to that one. And we'll just drop it. Okay, let's back off, back off, back off, back off. There's clear yeah, there we go. Bear, 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 bear. No. What we got? Oh yeah. Also, you can tell I've I've found another box as well, because I've got my um switch shirt on now. I was told about that as well, that there was a box around with that on, so it's like I decided to go get it. It's actually as good as my equipment that I've got on now, but if I get any new equipment... Well, I say as I've got on now, as I would have had on now. If I get any new equipment, we'll obviously swap it out, even though it is, it is rather fetching. Right, so I want to get over to a ledge somewhere. I don't think this is the right way just yet. 
No, off. Then get off of it. Alright, so. Let's actually get up there now. So you can see, like there, like these little bits. Like you can see there's like a way to get up there. There's the bits jutting out. So it's like, alright, let's make our way up. It may take a while to actually get up here. Now, I have seen clips of this game and stuff like that. So it's like, if it starts raining, you're screwed. That's pretty much what I've learned from like random clips here and there. It's like, it's, it's over a year old, this game. So I'm going to have little bits of knowledge from random clips. So it's like, raining, bad for climbing. Because you'll slip. I'm not sure if like you get an item or something like that where it's like you can get more grippy or anything like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so wait for our stamina to recover and then we'll go to the next one. Let's go. Well, that was cool. Just a bit, bit Skyrim-esque there, just running up the side. Now, I have seen these mushrooms. I've not actually collected any yet. So it's like whether or not they'll get in my way or I can collect it on my way up. A rush room. Mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so stamina again. Don't know if this is like the only way to get up there. I like the idea that this would be sort of like a possible way of getting up here. And it's like, because I did a bit of exploring, I found it. I need to cough. I just inhaled something. I don't know what. Oh. That was horrible. I, I don't know if it was a fly or something. It was, it was something. It was, oh. Oh. Oh, it was, it was probably like went into my throat and I could feel it. I won't say it was wriggling around or anything like that. It's like, I could, it could have just been like I just caught a weird breath. Best way of putting it is like I, I just... My air lungs. Air lungs. Yeah, as opposed to what other type of lungs. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's like, yeah, my, my, my lungs just did something weird but it's just like yeah just like felt like something just went like maybe like down the wrong hole or something like that it's just really very odd very odd oh had a little bit of a drink as well because it's just like oh dear that was not nice right so we could make a break for the top but i'm not going to risk it like you know can what can happen in these circumstances and we don't want to do that also i have found a cooking pot as well which was back at the, uh, I mean, there's several, to be honest. I've seen several around. But, oh, I like how the little rocks are falling off here. That's cool. But yeah, so, so I, I am aware of their existence and the help of cooking and stuff like that, recipes and such things. All right, so we should be actually coming up to this place now. It's like, hopefully we can get there. Hopefully we can. I, I hate to get all this way and be like, you ain't got enough stamina for this bit, like, Oh, screw you. Screw you. But now it looks like we'll be fine. I could even jump at this point and probably be fine. There we go. Our, our Dane Shrine. Can I even move this? Is it made of metal? That's not the metal one. Although I could put that down and potentially blow it away, couldn't I? Hmm. We'll try metal. It doesn't look metal. No, but we'll try. We'll try this. So let's do that. No, oh. I mean that's not going to work at all, is it? Um, maybe from a different angle. Maybe. Let's drop that down there. Now it feels like I'm going to get something in here that can move it. That's that's where we're heading with that. But yeah, is this the only way? I guess we'll find out after I've been inside. I think that's probably best. Because I like the idea of it being a case where there's several ways you could get here. It's more interesting that way. All right, let's see what we've got. Boop, boop, boop. Mom, mom, mom. Scope tip. And you find an object or a place of interest while looking through. We know that. We were told that at the start of the game. Alright, so what is this shrine? Ooh. Ooh. It's like, you know what, it's actually... Ooh. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Oa Dame. And in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Stasis trial. Okay. Yeah, do you know, you know what this is reminding me of the most? 
Portal. It feels very much like Portal, and I loved Portal. So, you know, the, the only thing is with, there's no GLaDOS. She gets lit. Authenticated distilling room. It's cool how it just sort of like makes a droplet. That's the one thing I do like about Nintendo games. They always like your nail -nas nasthetics. That's not even the term. Aesthetic stasis then. Alright, stop the flow of time. Makes sense. We've had time-based stuff in these games before. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. Ooh. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of the stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Okay. That's intriguing. So I don't know. Hmm. 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 Just wondering how we can use that. So it's like, obviously the, the easiest way to do is just stop time, so it's like, we can do that so we can get across. Wrong button. So here's a time limit, so I don't turn it off. Just wanna see what happens. Do 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 do. Okay. I'm just wary, because I can't use it at the moment. Okay. The kinetic energy remains. So it should still fly off. Because I won't make it up there. Okay. So it's like, you cannot just stay here, you will get hit. Simple as that. There's, there's a hammer over there. See, it's like, I do want to go get that. I'm going to get squished. <laughs> Traveler's shield. Oh, sturdy shield. I'm not going to be able to pick it up. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Can, is there any way to just drop them from here? It'd be nice to like, just like, drop that. Like, no. Okay, so inventory. Shield. Let's get, let's get rid of one of these. Um, Drop. Doobie doom. So that traveler shield is clearly better. There we go. Let's just get away from here before that boulder comes around behind me. So we've got a hammer now. Alright, this is a very fine looking hammer. Again, I'm gonna have the same problem though. What's down? Why does it say down? Isn't I don't know. Because it is again, it's like I want some way to like unequip stuff and like drop stuff quicker. It's one of these I'm probably going to have to get rid of because they're rubbish compared to everything else. There we go. Alright, so if I step on here... Hmm. Hmm. So I'm assuming... How, then? It's like stop time, sure. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, is that sort of like you can then hit it? It's like it's pointing out. This is what I like about Nintendo games. It's like, can I then hit it? So I did that, and it showed me like, yeah, you can then hit it and hit it and hit it and hit it. That's why there's a hammer there. The tutorials in this are very, very good because it's basically giving me all the tools enough to figure it out on my own at this point. Anyway. So now it's like, okay, hit it. There you go. That is, it's such a good way of how they've done it. To teach you what to do there. It's so good. So good. Right, okay. So want to tell me that um, there is a symbol on the map that shows you if you found all the treasure chests in the shrines as well. So that's nice. Right, so let's examine. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. 
In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Oh, lovely. Mmm, tastes like spearmint gum. Yay! May the goddess smile upon you. I'm gonna turn to dust now. Oh, there we go, you see. Fare thee well! Cutting grass. Wildlife taking shelter in grass will sometimes jump out when you cut down their hiding place. Oh. Okay, so that's two down, so next, really. Actually, it's just one. Oh, no, 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 no. We wanted to see about this. Aha. This is where the kinetic energy comes in. <laughs> Let's see how much I can get. It's gotta be red, that's it. Gone! Whoa, I just swore. I just swore. I'm gonna have to edit that out because this is a fam family commentary. I don't want to call it. Um, yes, yeah, so I have to edit that out. That's great. Just created more work for myself. Well done. Oh dear. It was the F word I said, by the way. I might put a beep on it. It'd be funnier that way. That might be a thing. Just like rather than edit out me swearing and, and stuff, just like put a beep in it. See if I can get like a Zelda beep. Then I can be swearing whatever I want and just beeping it. Okay, so we need to get to a point where it's like. What's this? It's a butterfly. Butterfly. Ah, is it? Oh, oh, oh. Did the butterfly just implode? Right, so I need to get some food now that actually makes me warm. Because I do need to get to the... Oh, God! Alright, I got the idea. Right, so. I need to get back down. It's like, if I had a paraglider, it would be very nice. Very easy to get back down. But I don't, so. Um, I want... I'm trying to remember what the buttons are for fast travel. Um, hmm... I want to be back there as quickly as possible, so it's probably best for the Shrine of Resurrection. Fire arrows! Hmm, maybe I could use the fire arrows and stuff like that to keep me warm. That's possible. Okay, so we want to head off straight away. Find ourselves a lovely little campfire. We know where one is because we used it at the end of the previous part. Oot. <laughs> ah. All these lovely noises that Link is making. Maybe I should swap out my hammer at this point. Just kind of want to hold on to it. We'll go with the rusty broadsword. And I want to use up my rubbish weapons first, really. Like, it's just. It's probably wise. I don't use up my best weapons and leave me with all these rubbish weapons. Like, there's a campfire there I can use to, for fire, but I want to use one that's got, like, a pot. I know I don't have to climb here. It's just, just quicker. It's just quicker. I could, I could just go off somewhere else. Right, so, here we are. I, I need my torch, if anything. Oh, stuff has regrown. I'll have that. Spicy pepper. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted. So let's go with a torch. I keep doing that. It's, I don't know what's going on in my head. Okay, so. Sit. Nope, that's not what I want. Okay, 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 okay. Food. Let's see about here, because I've also got some spicy stuff here. It is very much like, let's put on the fire. Let's see here. We want spicy stuff. Hold that. Like two of them. I want to really put the guts on there. We've got a lizard down here. Let's put a lizard in there. Like, screw it. Just have one of these random ones and just see what happens. A drumstick. Some of that. Right, so let's um, return to the game then. And cook. <laughs> that sounded like it turned out terrible. Dubious food. <laughs> didn't go great, did it? Didn't go great. All right then. So let's see here. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. 
key items there. Okay. So I want to try and make the spicy sautéed peppers again. We have the spicy steamed fruit as well. I'm going to try and actually make something that will be good now. So let's hold that. Like actually just add meat to everything. It's like I don't want to put in anything like random. Like a bit of fruit maybe? That'll, that, that should turn out right, right? Sounds good. Spicy meat skewer. Grants low level cold resistance. A juicy filling snack made by grilling small chunks of meat on a skewer. Okay, okay. Let's just do this now. Hold, hold. And that, that, that should do it, that should do it. Yeah. After this one, we'll just head straight off then. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll have enough, right? There we are. Spicy simid fruit. Grants no level cold resistance. It's the cold resistance we're after, so let's just get going. Finally. Get off to this place. Right. It's up there, so I want to head up to that path over there. Okay, so. Get our cold resistance going. So we've got nine minutes of cold resistance. Okay, so this is clearly... I don't know what's up there, but I don't want to waste my cold resistance. Clearly like a um, raft there, but how do I get to it? So there's a bridge over there, sort of in the distance. Okay, or am I meant to go up that way? Maybe I'm meant to go up that way, climb, and then go across the top? I don't know. There's several possibilities. That's the thing, I'm hoping there's just several possibilities of how I can do this. Pick up these acorns. These acorns are freaking huge, though. There's little campfires around, so I'm assuming it's like it's so you could just make some stuff. Ow! White choo choo jelly. That's, I'm assuming it's going to be the same as choo choo jelly, but white. Like, I don't want to step into the water because it's like, yeah, I've got cold resistance. But I don't think I've got enough cold resistance. To survive anything. Like going into a lake. It's like a frozen lake, pretty much. It's like probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea. Right, so clearly we've got to get across somehow. There's some machine thinkies over there. Stay away from these. That's what I should be doing with these guys. Not not that. This. Cause that's gonna get rid of them very quickly. Hitting them with a sword, it's like I could have the potential of getting frozen. It's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Okay, so, uh -huh -huh, we do have a door. And the doors are made of metal. So, that could be used. What was the, what, 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 what? Oh, yes, search. An ancient spring! Maybe I need them for later. I don't know. I don't know. Right, so let's get you then. Uh -huh -huh. Maybe I have to use this to get to the raft, but maybe I don't have to at the same time? Okay, I need to make this more straighter. So... I don't want to fall in the lake. So it's like, um... Is that enough? Seems to be enough. I meant to jump then, that could have been a problem. Okay. So across this bit, it's like I would go more exploring, but it's like now nah, we'll get to get to the other shrine at this point. So at least want to get inside before we end this part, because clearly we're gonna end this part soon. It feels appropriate. It feels very appropriate. I'm just wondering like, how do I get to that raft? Is it is it I maybe I can freeze the lake? Like, this is the thing, it's like, what am I gonna get in this other shrine? I'm gonna get something, but I don't know what. I like how they sort of pop. Ooh! Didn't realize I got more. Cool. Is that because they didn't do that much? Or I don't know. I don't know. This is cool. I just like the idea of, like, using food and stuff to actually buff you. 
so you can actually explore. And like the, like the terrain itself is actually a danger in this one. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Just, come on, though. I need, I need a better way to run. It's like, I know I can get a horse in this. I know I can get a bike in this. So it's, like, it's very, very strange. Okay, cool. Ding, ding. So I want to explore that mountain over there. It's like, there's so many places I'm just seeing off in the distance where I'm just like, I want to go see what that is. I want to go see what that is. Maybe I should have paid attention. It's like, jeez. So what the hell did that? Like, I want to go up to the top of there. I just want to go explore little bits. Uh-huh. All right. You dead straight away. It's damaged, but we should be okay. We'll leave the one that's on fire. Now, how could I have used these barrels, though? Oh, I could have come up that way, I assume, and then used them or something like that. Oh well. Oh well, missed that opportunity. It's just like lock locking off to the. Oh hello. Clearly, I can freeze stuff. I think I think that's what I'm going to have the capability of doing after this one, isn't it? Ability to freeze everything. Like, look at that view. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. But the question is, can I use? No. It is a case of like they leave these little things outside, so it intrigues you. So you want to mess around and like figure out what to do, but it's like, nah. You'll want to do that when you come back outside. It's like Nintendo are very good at this type of stuff. They really are. What else is around? Oh. Well, there's a chest there. Alright. Maybe 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 I need to use the shrine first. Get the thing inside so I can get to the chest. Impossible. It's possible. One of those things where it's like, I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. I think this this Let's Play is probably going to be more subdued than others, where I'm just going like, oh, what's that? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, this is nice. Just very relaxing, methodical. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows what's going to happen later. Let's get, like, speedy booths and stuff like that. I feel like this one's been very laid back, very relaxed, lovely. Good for a Saturday. Today is Saturday, right? It is for me, at least. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Kenamut, in the name of the goddess Hiliaya for this trial. Cry honest trial. So it's like, yeah, we're, like, we're wondering, like, do they have, like, cryostasis and stuff like that? It's like, clearly they do, because you can free stuff in an instant. It like, makes sense. Stents? Makes sense. Yep. Chica Slate Authenticated, Distilling Rune. So yeah, we're gonna have the power to free stuff now. Very, very simple. <laughs> Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Oh! Those ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. I'll have a little play around before we end this part. And start of the next part, we'll make our way through the shrine. Okay, so. Like, is, does it have to stay that high? Like, can I make it higher? Does the water level go down? Aim underfoot. Oh, right. Oh, that's cool. So we could... I was going to say jump across. We need to be closer, obviously. But, you know, you get the idea. Right, so, we're going to end this part here then. In the next part, we'll make our way through here. I probably need some more cold resistance stuff, because I'm assuming it's still cold in here as well. It would make sense to be cold in here. Unless they teleport you someplace... 
I don't know, where do they actually teleport you? Am I in the shrine? Am I below the shrine? Or am I somewhere else? I don't know. Guess we'll find out in the future. But that's us done for now. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta. For now.